Hello everyone, I am Bogmod of course, and we're continuing to play Europa Universalis 4. That's Portugal! We're getting our colonizing on, as you can see, down here. We got a little colony here in Africa. And uh we got these little islands here. Oh yeah. Uh ooh, a saint performs a miracle. Uh some will forget about, uh blah blah blah. So, uh some of our devout pe uh, civ civilians were uh, being all nice to people. More excellent. And a new idea. Perfect. Plus 20 settlers. While portraying colonial lands and new virgin territory where any man can make his fortune, possibly even some women, people will emigrate quicker to the colonies, meaning the nation will have spent less money encouraging people to go there. Yes! That's what I want. Yeah, I want to I I click it. There we are. Plus 40 a year. Oh, yeah. Now, um, I don't mind. It'll do that. Do you want to be able to afford a, a new gun? What's need war to break out between them? Then I can strike. Well, since I'm since I have the time, let's fabricate a K1 Casablanca. Ah, uh, the cape's almost done, and then we'll head to the new world, everyone. Hmm. Also, we will recruit and explore. There we are! So, Rio Grande. We are going to land finally in Brazil in uh, probably 1466 it looks like. We'll get our first colony going. But that's fine. <coughs> we can work with that. 50 days. And in the meanwhile, we will... Ooh, three field rotation. Since the time of uh, Charlemagne, people have been experimenting with switching from classic two field rotation systems to a three field system. This time to promote this, as it will increase the amount of land devoted to growing food crops. Mmm, food. You know what I like? Food. Yay, Portuguese Brazil! Let's see. Um, we'll do a trade proposal. Yes. Which will make our overseas colony more valuable. Mm. Delicious land. Alright. Alright. Uh, turn Rio Grande to a city. I oh, will definitely do that. That's a good one. That'll also increase the the value of that territory. Ah, oh, once again, I uh, we got decadence kicking in, reducing my uh, my stability. Oh. Got to keep an eye on the rest of the world, though. So France is eating Brittany. England's just being England. Hmm. Yeah, Venice got a little bit bigger. Is there what to do? Yeah. Well, these guys are still goons of Nor of Denmark. 
Let's see. Uh, the war with Muscovy. They'll probably lose them. to Russia. Yeah, Ottomans, yeah, Mamluks. So, the world doesn't look, uh... Not a lot's happening in the world right now, but it appear. But that's fine. We would need a lot to happen. Still, they're so massively in debt. Well, let's, uh... Do I have a goon? Yes. Let's make ourselves all super best friends with uh, England some more. Because they'll eventually have money. Um... I'm going to. I think I have enough money. Well, let's first of all let's check. Uh, no. So here's what we're gonna do. I've got a brilliant plan. First of all, Marco, the Brito, you sir, are gonna do some exploring up the coast. While I'm going to settle. Two province at once! Oh yeah! A little bit of a double production going on there. It becomes costly, but you gotta you gotta spend money to make money, right? You gotta spend money to take over the new world. Let's see, just two successions. Possibly Scotland. Hmm. Court painter. Oh yes, we'll take that. Let's improve our relations with Scotland. There's the off chance that we might be able to s score ourselves a. I'll take that penalty. I think this time. So there's a chance we might be able to score ourselves a nice little... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Personal union, yes. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Ah, for a minute I thought they were at war with... Uh... Oh, excellent! A rush for the colonies. Dance the frontier, eh? Interesting. What that mission is? Let's, uh... Yeah, if they were, yeah. Maybe the Stuart King will die, and one of our family will go on their throne. And it would be nice. Alright, let's take a moment. To keep exploring the seas. Yeah, I really want to colonize along Brazil here. Territory is very rich, first of all. And also, it's not all tropical, which would give me penalties to, uh... Yes. Minus 25 settler increase, so I really want to focus on Brazil first. Uh, let's see, Morocco. I don't care about Morocco. They can be pissed off at me for all I care. Let's discover us some Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Alright, there's the Caribbean. 
Oh, my air died. That's not good. Hmm. How how old am I? I am. Alfonso is thirty-eight. It's a pity because Pedro was a talented man. All right. Well, let's uh, find solace in the arms of a woman. But the important thing is we have a new heir. All right, keep exploring along here. Uh, we will take the prestige. Prestige is easy to get. So we can afford to, uh, rather than lose, lose stability. Oh, there we are. Guantanamo. Now, this hasn't happened yet. I just want to mention it now. Uh, it would be hilarious if I get the whole penal colony thing in Guantanamo. It would make me chuckle. Chuckle and laugh and laugh and chuckle and I hate you, Morocco. And you hate me. Alright. Scotland, what do you think of me now? Neutral. No. Oh. Pity. Oh, that's fine. Ah, oh, excellent. More people. I do like me my people. Uh, Castile is now control. Oh, a crusade, crusade against Morocco. Interesting. Well, first of all, uh, ooh, global tariffs plus twenty percent. We'll take that for the increased wealth it'll bring us. Well, let's see what happens if I declare war now. Um, England will not help. Castile will also not help. Damn it, Castile! Why do you have to be so poor? You have gold. See, gold in Toledo! Ah, well. What about France? No, France won't join us. Well, let's let's stay friendly with them, anyways. Hmm. I want at least one colony to trigger this time. Well, no, I'm going. To, let's take a moment. I want I want to find out about uh, Morocco here. Okay, so they got 15,000 soldiers. Some other force limit, so 13,000 for a force limit. Uh, I'm not teching them. I think once I have cannons, I might make a, make a shot at trying to crush them. Uh, Alright, well. Three pretender... What the? So apparently, uh, our king has died. Philippi, being one year old, just has a Regency Council running things. Carlos Tixiero. Alright, so someone's trying to claim our throne. What a dick. Well, we can solve that. Uh, Aragon. Sure. This could be trouble, because I expect these two will fight more. We got better guns. That's always a step in the right direction. Um, military. Nope. Let's go kill.
Alright, so we won that battle. This is what I wanted. The pretender is put down, and our one year old's ruler will now take the throne. Um, that'll delay things a bit. As normally in these sorts of games, um, I cannot start a war while I'm in a Regency Council. So I'm afraid we're going to be forced with another decade or so of peace. Thirteen years of peace. Frozen, frozen peace. Alright, well I think we'll call it here. Got two colonies on the go. We've got, uh... Oh, I, should, I should send out my explorer some more. Exploring the new world, finding land, places for us to settle in. It'll be good. But we're going to focus on Brazil to start, because it's rich, it's close, and uh, it'll slow down the expansion of other nations like Castile, who's also looking towards exploring soon. So thanks everyone for watching, and... Um, I get more income. I might try. Uh, well, I can't do anything, so we'll, we'll save. We'll, we'll just uh, wait our and bide our time before we can make our attempt to uh, crush Morocco, because that's kind of kind of the goal I want to do for myself right now. See everyone later.